Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 11 of the July Ditko Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. So before I start, um, as I sometimes do on Sundays, I like to celebrate that, you know, I finished top 50 in the last contest. Yay! Did not so good on the other, um, on the bi-weekly, but, you know, um, I bring it up because I... Uh, I yeah, just, you know, celebrate victories, uh, definitely, you know, take small wins and enjoy them. Um, and also, just to say that if you do uh, do these contests and would like to discuss it right afterwards, come join us on Discord and check us out. Anyway, today's problem is find median from data stream. Okay, so you have a median, the list is even, then no, the median is okay, of course. Yeah, I know what a median is. Add a number and then find a median. Okay. Yeah, so this is a pretty standard problem. The thing what you want to do is... There are a couple of things you can do, but the idea is just to keep two heaps on both. Um, and the invariant of the problem or the solution after having two heaps is to keep them basically uh, have the same size or, or you know, uh, uh, off by one size and that's basically the idea um, yeah so let's get started right away I don't know if there's that much to it but but the idea is that okay you, you know you, ha you have two set of numbers and you're trying to find a medium number right so the medium number um, you just can't tr find X on the left and X on the right um, so that it balances out kind of thing um, yeah so let's just do that then. Let's call this self that left is equal to a heap. Self that right is equal to a heap. So here, um, so let me think about this for a second. Uh, so we want middle. To, so we want the left to contain all the smaller numbers, and we want the right to have all the bigger numbers, right? So that means that, in terms of thinking of whether I want a min heap or max heap. So that means that I want a max heap on the left and a min heap on the right, right? So let's make sure that we write this max heap, min heap, because the reason here is that we're always trying to remove the minimum element from the right and the maximum element from the left so that you know, you're moving them back and forth, really. Um, so yeah, so when you add a number, there are a couple of things you can do. Mm, yeah. So yeah. So let's see. So in Python, we have min heaps by default. So yeah, we have min heaps by default. And what does that mean? That means that we for max heap we want to get the opposite of it. So we just we do the we we um. We times everything in the in the left heap by negative one, so that you kind of inverse the order. That's that's a, a common hack for getting a max heap. So yeah, so let's just insert this here. So mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. negative num, and then now if the length of self that and there are a couple of ways you can do it. You can actually do if statements in different ways, but this is the way that I do it. Which is that if um, you just have to be consistent about your invariance. That's all. Um, oh, there's, is there constraints? I mean, I, I didn't really look at constraints because this is a well-known problem, but um, but the follow-up might be interesting. We can think about this actually. Um, yeah. But okay, so. If this is the case, then we pop off from the left and then we push it to the right. And this, this, we make it negative so that we can put it back to the real number and we push it to the right. And that should be basically it. Um, and the idea here is that whenever we have too many items on the left, we add it to the right. So then the invariant that which we're doing, um, that it comes up is that 
the number of elements on the left is always equal to the number of elements to the right, or the number of elements to the left is equal to the or plus one is equal to the number of elements to the right. So then to find median, we can figure out very easily. Um, just to, if, if they're equal, then we have even number of elements. And in that case, we will just get, we look at the top numbers from the left and the top numbers to the right and take an average of it. So item is equal to sub dot left of zero. The, the, so this is how you get the top element. And of course, on the left side, it's negative of it. And then left item maybe right item is equal to sub that right of zero, and we just return the average of those two. And remember that this is uh, not an integer average; it's a division average. And then else, else, um, in this case, then the right has one more element than the left, so we just have to take the top element, and that's basically what we're going to do. And that's pretty much it, I believe. Let's give it a spin. Hopefully the test drive is good. Ooh, it is not good. Hmm. Did I mess this up? Hmm, why do I have one in here? Did I mess something up? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's put out the left and right, I guess. Hmm. Why does a min heap? That sounds right. Did I mess something up? Maybe I did. Hmm. That's weird. How did that happen? We want the max heap, right? So when we pop this, hmm. Let's see. Oh, I have to readjust. I. So it goes one. And then two. Oh, I see. Let me think about this. I've, I've missed the case. That's why the, that's the short story. Um, and it's a good thing that I missed it here because that's actually kind of embarrassing. Not gonna lie. But I, so you have a one and a two. No, but. Because we never pop off from the right, right? Um, hmm, what am I doing here? Also, I meant to print out the item. I think I'm missing some uh, invariants. Oh, okay, I know what I'm doing here. That's why. Because basically, at zero items, it pushes the one to the right. And then now, as we push it to, I forgot to have to do a check. I'm, I'm being sloppy. I think I'm, I'm doing a similar problem, but not this one. And it's confusing me. But it's good, because that's part of learning, is that sometimes you reinforce it by picking silly mistakes. Um, OK. Mm. I was hoping that th I had a generalization, but, but that's why. OK. So basically, this is still, hmm. So let me try to think about the state. So you have one on the right side, and you try to add. So we want to keep the fine median like this, but we have to figure fix our add. And basically, we add one number to the right. Um, so one is on the right, and then now you add the two. What happens? Well, we always add it to the left because we're silly, and then we're good. But we need to pop them. I think I usually do it this way, but oh, I see. I think I, I confused it a little bit because hmm. Let me think about this for a second. So yeah, I usually do solve this live as you can know, see because if I'm not solving this live, this is a really weird way of get, making a mistake. But okay, so what I'm thinking right now is just that you know, we we st we have this at a certain or sorry we have this at a certain point. So now we're trying to insert two. How do we maintain this in a good way? Um, and that's a good question. Dun, dun, dun. Also, I I think. I'm using two heap right now, but uh, just as a also a spoiler, you can 
probably could not do this on an interview uh, for the purpose of this, but you could also use a sort list or a binary um, search tree or something like that, right? Mm, for obvious reasons. But uh, but that's uh, even more trivial than this, so I'm not going to go with that, but okay. Think on here, okay. Is that good enough? So I'm just trying to think whether certain ideas are good enough. And I think the way that I did it. This is very awkward the way that I did it. Hmm. Hmm. What is the invariant that I'm trying to do here? Man, wow, this is really sloppy. Sorry, friends. Uh, this is a pretty standard problem, but maybe it's so standard that I haven't done it in a while that I forgot. Because I usually probably would use a sorted list for something similar nowadays. But, hmm. Man, this is what happens when you just woke up and you start doing uh, annoying problems. Okay, so here we add a 2. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm just being a little bit sloppy. I think the way that I did it make, really makes no sense, but, um, but okay. So we want to add it to the right, we add nums, and then if... Um, plus one, because in this case, that means that if there are two extra numbers on the right, then we could add it to the left. Um, so I think that's probably the better way to do it. But I'm trying. Yeah, I think that's it. But but it's a little bit awkward for sure. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's give it a spin. But I think that should be good. Um. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, whoops. This is not right. Well, the if statement isn't right, but... If this is... Oh, if... Yeah. Rushed it. Put it on the wrong side. Okay, so that looks good. The idea here is basically, instead of what I said earlier, um, if I have... If right has two more elements than left, then give left the smallest element. Um, yeah, that's that's basically the invariant. But mm, is it ten? Oops. Uh, let's give this spin. Mm, now I'm uh not gonna lie. Now I'm a bit. Now I'm a bit uh not confident about it just because man i'm really sloppy today so let, let's add some extra test cases and see how that goes and then we'll go over the follow-ups i think this should be good though would i miss the next one i think i yeah the length hmm. okay mm -hmm. Okay, so this looks okay, so let's give it a spin, unless I'm really... Huh. Oh no. Hmm. Wow, today I'm really weird on uh, negative numbers. Hmm. This should be pretty straightforward, but now I feel terrible. Um, okay. How did I... So negative one, negative two, add meter, find it negative three so the median should be negative two but I two negative three why is that yeah why is that so, the two, three. huh dong 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 
And clearly, I don't know how to solve this problem, or like I'm a mess. Uh, this is this is, this is the standard way of doing it, but I guess I haven't done it in a while. Um, hmm, negative one, and then two. I guess this is the opposite of the thing that I had earlier. What what was wrong? But now, now I just messed up. It is just the min heap. The min is negative two. Okay, no, that's I guess that's right actually. But then now when we do add a negative three, I guess this is the opposite problem. I'm just being really sloppy for some reason. Uh, negative. We want the. Hmm. Mm. Let's think about the invariance. I need to step back and really think about the invariance for this one and just think about what I'm doing. I'm really sloppy right now. Apologies to the people at home watching. Um, but basically, the thing I want to do huh, is... What is the ideal case here? And this is a little bit confusing to look because this is the one on the left is negative. So negative two is, we want the smallest number on the left, that makes sense. So we add the negative three here. Um, but this is awkward. So we just, I, the reason why I did it this way was I thought I could avoid some self balancing things. So maybe we'll look up some code later to kind of learn from it. But but before that, I like to kind of solve it by myself because it's not that hard. It's doable. I'm just being lazy and trying to keep it clean. Um, I think we can do solve this with more if statements, but I was just being really uh, silly. Um, okay. So let's keep it here for now. And um, Okay. Let, let's just go over all the case enumeration because I think I try to be too smart uh, and not do that. But okay, so if they're the same size, what do we do? Uh, well, what I want our invariant is that the right uh, self that right, the right size have one more element than the left side, right? So then here, in this case, well, we ask ourselves, where can we insert this, right? So, so here we can in, we should be able to insert it to the left side and then take the biggest number after the pop and then push it but yeah so let's do that so i thought that's right but hmm but maybe i just implemented in a weird way today uh, better now than doing a contest i suppose okay so yeah so we push this to the left again this is a max heap so we do the nums and then we do we won't have the right to have more items so that's um yeah pop this from the left and then push this to the right uh, let's see yeah so now the second one is we have one more element on the right than the left and these are the only two cases because of how we construct this um okay if we have one more element on the right what do we do well Hmm. Well, the environment here is we we try to add it to the left, still, and then give it to the right. Okay, maybe that's the idea. Is that we we add it to the left, we get it to the right, and then, and then we get it back one from the right to equalize it. So item is equal to. Maybe that was kind of the ideas that I was trying to put together. Um, but I wasn't able to because it was too confusing maybe like i wasn't able to do do this um because i i was trying to generalize a little bit too much but okay so now it looks good i think yeah i think i was just trying to skip sometimes sometimes that is the problem is that when you have seen or done a problem enough times you you try to um 
you try a little too hard to um you try a little too hard to how to say this you try a little too hard to kind of figure out a clever way of doing it but sometimes you need to step back and just do it the stupid the hard way the naive way the if statement way and then try to optimize that instead right so here for example we can clearly see that here we should be able to take this outside um so in this case obviously this is after we inserted one so so we actually have to do this here um wait is that true so yeah if the, um, this is a little bit if let me double check this for a second i mean conceptually it's easy to kind of take it out but but okay so if they eco then we add one to then the right yeah okay oh i see so that means that if they're not equal, then we add one to the left. So then here, um, yeah, okay. So that is the the condition that would be true. And now we can remove this. I think that's mm, nope. It's wrong again. This is right though, right? Huh. Well, let me double check. Hmm. This index what? Wasn't didn't we have some, this correctly before? Oh, whoops. Okay, I left that in by accident. Okay, so this is right, but somehow I am unable to take it out of the if statement. Okay, so. Okay, let's put this here. Um, so this is, in theory, that's how you do refactors, is that you move small amount of code every time, and then just one unit testing to see this is the case. Um, yeah. Mm, so this is not length, but... Uh, Hmm, maybe I'm being very sloppy right now. How do I take this out? I mean, you can also just use a accelerate flag, but it looks kind of yucky. Because basically, when I took it out, take it out, um, it used to be not the same, but, but if it wasn't the same before, when it gets to here, what, what happens, right? If it's not the same... then this becomes the same. So that means that this is if length of self dot left plus two is equal to length dot, oh, I, maybe I just had signs in the wrong place or the plus two in the wrong place. Okay. So basically this is what I would have had. Okay. Um, and then now let's give it a submit. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I think um, what I always say is that sometimes you look at someone and they write like 10 lines of code and it's beautiful and you're like, wow, how can I come up with that? Well, what you see is kind of um, a little bit of a window of how people do it is that they work off a correct solution and then they, uh, I, they slowly improve on it right so you know definitely don't don't get envious or whatever uh, it's not intelligence it's a lot uh, a lot of the times it's not intelligence it's this grind right and it's just doing it and keep on improving your craft that way um you before i as i was saying um i mean i i knew how to do this but i like i said i tried to skip ahead too much and i think i missed a step um in because for me, I underestimated the problem. It was too easy. I'm, I mean, it is still easy, but I'm out of practice. That's the short story. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. So definitely practice on that. But the idea here is that, okay, you push everything. Because you're supposed to, because the idea behind this one is you, you're you bubbling it up. Um, and then you, um, in a way, you're bubbling down and you're bubbling it back down. Uh, you're bubbling up the big numbers and you're bubbling down the small number, kind of like a cascading type thing. But I think I missed a step somehow and I forgot to put it, push it back. But yeah, um, the medium should be make sense now that the in, as long as you keep the invariant correct, which is that either the left is equal to the right or um, the, the right 
side has one more element. And of course, this is going to be um, add numbers going to be log n times times because we we do mm, you know three pushes and two pops. Um, so all of them are log n, so it's going to be log n. Huh. <laughs> Oh man, I'm allergic, I'm allergic to stuff. But anyway, um, of course, uh, excuse me, uh, everything is live, everything is weird. But yeah, find median is all of one because, well, you just look at the top element which is all of one. So yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Happy Sunday. This really should have been the easy one. Uh, I don't know why this video is so long, but I hope, you know, I hope that maybe you learned from seeing me struggle on a silly problem. Um, and yeah, uh, st have a great Sunday. Stay good, stay cool. I'll see you later. And to good mental health. Bye-bye.